In the world of electric vehicles, charging speed and energy efficiency are two of the key factors that determine the user experience. These aspects not only affect the convenience and affordability of electric cars, but also play a key role in accelerating the transition to more sustainable and practical mobility. As battery and electric vehicle manufacturers seek innovations to improve these factors, new technologies are emerging that redefine what is possible in battery charging and efficiency. Charging speed has long been a sticking point for electric vehicle users. The time it takes for a battery to fully charge can be a limiting factor for those looking to adopt electric mobility, especially on long journeys or in high demand situations. However, with the advancement of battery technologies and charging systems, this reality is changing rapidly. Technologies such as high power fast charging have made it possible to recover a large portion of battery capacity in minutes, rather than hours, as was the case in the past. Ultra-fast charging systems capable of delivering power in excess of 350 kilowatts are becoming more common at public charging stations, allowing electric vehicle drivers to get back on the road with surprising speed. But charging speed is not the only metric that matters. Energy efficiency, or the amount of energy that is actually used by the battery relative to the energy delivered during the charging process, is also a key consideration. A battery with low efficiency can result in significant energy loss during charging, which not only increases the time required to recharge, but also wastes resources and contributes to a less efficient user experience. In contrast, a high-efficiency battery makes the most of the energy delivered, reducing charging time while ensuring that the vehicle's range is maximized. This balance between speed and efficiency is increasingly being improved with the development of new battery management and cell architecture technologies. For example, bidirectional charging technology, which allows electric vehicles to not only charge, but also feed energy back into the grid, is becoming increasingly common. This not only increases flexibility in energy use, but also optimizes the efficiency of charging systems, making the process more advantageous for users and the energy infrastructure in general. Another crucial aspect of energy efficiency relates to the battery architecture itself. Advances in cell design and the use of highly electrically conductive materials such as graphene are enabling batteries to not only charge faster, but also more efficiently. The use of new compounds and active cooling technologies is also helping to keep batteries at optimal temperatures during the charging process, preventing energy losses caused by overheating. These developments are particularly important to ensure that electric vehicle batteries can be recharged quickly, but without compromising their durability or safety. Furthermore, charge management systems, BMS, are becoming increasingly sophisticated. These systems not only monitor the status of each battery cell, but also efficiently control the flow of energy, ensuring that charging is distributed evenly and optimally. With more advanced algorithms and machine learning technologies, BMSs are able to predict battery behavior and adjust the charging process according to ideal conditions, maximizing efficiency and minimizing the risk of damage. The interaction between the battery and the charging infrastructure also plays an important role in this balance between speed and efficiency. Smart chargers and dynamic charging systems have the potential to adapt the power supply to the specific needs of the vehicle and the conditions of the electrical system, offering a more tailored and efficient solution. By optimizing the amount of power delivered and the time required for charging, these systems can reduce costs and improve the overall efficiency of the process. In the near future, we can expect the combination of more efficient batteries, ultra-fast chargers, and intelligent management systems to revolutionize the charging experience for electric vehicles. Not only will waiting times be drastically reduced, but energy efficiency will also be maximized, resulting in more efficient use of resources and more affordable and sustainable electric mobility for all. Innovation in this field is constantly evolving, and the coming years could bring significant changes that will further transform the way we interact with electric vehicle charging technology. When it comes to batteries for electric vehicles, Safety and durability are not just desirable features, they are essential requirements. With the growth of electric mobility 
reliability and the performance of batteries during extreme conditions and in hazardous situations is more crucial than ever. Modern batteries, such as short blade LFB, lithium iron phosphate batteries, are designed to undergo a series of rigorous tests to ensure that they can withstand harsh conditions without compromising safety or efficiency. Endurance testing begins long before a battery is mass-produced. During the development phase, engineers subject the cells to a series of simulations to measure how they behave under various types of stress. Common tests include resistance to thermal shock, vibration, overcharging, and short-circuiting. In particular, electric vehicle batteries need to withstand extreme temperature fluctuations as these conditions can be encountered during daily use or in unforeseen accidents. Thermal resistance is one of the most critical aspects of any modern battery, especially since electric vehicle batteries operate under extreme temperature conditions. Whether in the scorching heat of a city in the summer or the extreme cold of a harsh winter, the battery must maintain its performance without fail. In this context, LFB batteries stand out for their excellent resistance to overheating. Tests simulating high temperatures verify that the cells continue to operate efficiently without causing damage to the integrity of the vehicle. Engineers also perform tests at low temperatures, where the battery chemistry can be more susceptible to failure. A good battery must ensure that the car continues to function, even when the outside temperature is below freezing without suffering significant degradation in performance. Another key point in terms of resistance is the battery's reaction in short-circuit or overcharging scenarios. Although modern batteries are equipped with sophisticated management systems to prevent these types of events, resistance tests simulate these conditions to ensure that the battery can withstand potential failures without putting the safety of the vehicle or the driver at risk. The ability of a battery to handle these situations and automatically shut down safely is essential, minimizing the risk of fire or explosion, two of the biggest dangers associated with battery failures. In addition to resistance, battery safety also involves analyzing its behavior in more extreme scenarios, such as impacts and collisions. In the case of car accidents, the battery of an electric vehicle must be able to protect both its internal components and the vehicle's occupants. Crash tests are performed to assess the structural integrity of the battery, ensuring that it does not suffer damage that could lead to chemical leaks or, in more serious scenarios, fire. During these tests, the battery is subjected to simulated impacts, such as frontal, side and rear impacts, and even drops, to verify that the cell's integrity is maintained. Another essential aspect of safety testing is the analysis of how batteries behave after a long period of use. Natural degradation that occurs over time can affect the performance and safety of the battery. For this reason, LFB batteries, for example, are tested to verify their longevity in repeated charge and discharge cycles. This helps to ensure that, even after many years of use, the battery will continue to maintain acceptable levels of efficiency and safety. In addition to all these checks, electric vehicle batteries are also subjected to penetration and external impact resistance tests, which help to ensure that they are not damaged by sharp objects or adverse conditions, such as heavy rain or impacts from stones while the vehicle is in motion. These tests ensure that the vehicle is protected not only against internal failures, but also against environmental factors. These testing and validation processes are essential to ensure that electric cars can be used with confidence in any conditions. As batteries are a critical component of electric vehicles, any failure can have serious consequences, both in terms of vehicle safety and reliability. With the development of new technologies and materials, such as LFB batteries, the electric vehicle industry is rapidly moving toward a safer and more durable future. When it comes to different battery technologies for electric vehicles, the market is far from unified, with several options competing for space in the industry. Comparing short blade lithium iron phosphate, LFB, batteries to other technologies such as cobalt, NCM, nickel cobalt manganese, and lithium nickel cobalt aluminum, NCA, becomes a crucial point in the search for batteries that not only meet performance requirements, but also offer durability, safety, and energy efficiency.
Each of these technologies has its strengths and weaknesses, and understanding these differences is essential for those looking to choose the best solution for their electric vehicles. First and foremost, LFB batteries stand out for their superior safety and thermal stability. Unlike cobalt or NCM batteries, which can be more susceptible to overheating and fires in the event of damage, LFBs are much more resistant to these failures. This is because the iron phosphate material used in LFBs has a more stable chemical structure, making it a safer choice for the electric vehicle industry, especially considering the increased focus on safety in recent decades. This characteristic of LFBs is particularly important in overcharging scenarios or when the battery suffers mechanical damage, a failure that can be catastrophic in more unstable batteries, such as cobalt batteries. In addition to safety, the durability of LFB batteries also stands out. Although nickel-cobalt batteries perform faster, especially in terms of energy density and power at high load, they tend to degrade more quickly. This means that, over time, they lose efficiency more quickly than LFBs. LFB batteries, on the other hand, are known for their long service life, with the ability to withstand many more charge and discharge cycles without a significant drop in performance. This longevity not only reduces maintenance costs over the years, but also contributes to the long-term sustainability of electric vehicles, as LFBs require fewer replacements. In terms of energy efficiency, NCM and NCA batteries have a higher energy density, allowing vehicles to achieve greater ranges with the same amount of charge. This is especially attractive for electric car manufacturers looking to offer vehicles with a longer range on a single charge. However, this advantage is offset by greater instability and a higher production cost due to the use of materials such as cobalt, which is not only rare and expensive, but also involves ethical issues related to its extraction in certain regions of the world. LFB batteries, on the other hand, although they do not have the same energy density, offer a significantly lower production cost. Iron and phosphate are much more abundant and accessible materials than cobalt or nickel, making LFBs a more economical option for large-scale production of electric vehicles. This reduced cost translates directly into the final price of the vehicles allowing manufacturers to offer more affordable cars to a wider audience without compromising safety or durability. Another important factor when comparing battery technologies is environmental impact. While nickel cobalt batteries, such as NCM and NCA, require the mining of rare earths and have significant environmental impacts, LFB batteries have a much smaller environmental footprint. This is because the materials used in LFBs are more abundant and easier to obtain, and are less harmful to the environment than cobalt and nickel. This makes LFBs a preferable choice for manufacturers and consumers who are conscious of the sustainability and environmental impact of their technology choices. However, the main limitation of LFB batteries, when compared to other technologies, is their relatively lower energy density. This means that, in terms of range, Electric cars equipped with LFB batteries generally offer a shorter distance per charge compared to models using NCM or NCA batteries. However, this factor has been offset by the continuous improvement of LFB technology with advances in cell design and charging efficiency, which allow them to offer increasingly competitive performance. Furthermore, the lower production cost of LFBs may allow manufacturers to use higher capacity batteries which helps mitigate this disadvantage. While the comparison between LFB batteries and other technologies continues to evolve, one thing is clear. There is no single solution that is perfect for all scenarios. Each technology has its advantages and disadvantages, and the choice of which to use depends on the specific goals of the manufacturer and the needs of the consumer. LFB batteries, with their balance of safety, durability, and cost, continue to be a very strong option for a wide range of applications, especially where safety and sustainability are priorities, but the market is still open to innovations that can balance the technology's shortcomings in terms of energy density and autonomy.